<coughs> Morning guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how we are straightening up the floor here. I do it a little special way, so I'm going to show you all my tricks now. How to do it. First thing you're going to do is remove this car. Oh! Sounds like it's a mouse in the brakes. Oh, fit the hand, Sigurda. My bed the Yoon is here. He's here helping me almost every Saturday. Today again. Now is it 90% uh, cleaned. Now I'm going to use this uh, Hilti drill or Mikita drill to make holes in the floor. I'm going to show you why later on. In the holes I made now, use those plugs. Those plugs, we're going to have bolts in it. And I'm going to show you later, but we're going to just drill a bowl, bolt down to those plugs with the laser onto the drill so we see exactly the height, how far down the bolt's going to go. I will show you that later, but now we have to measure out something, so. All right, what we're going to do now, Jon? We are going to play on the floor. Play on the floor, we're going to measure out because we only have one pole, as you can see, with the Costco set them. This is really, really good quality straight up floor liquid. I have this stuff from my sponsor, Christian Schustelsen. But this is not enough for the rest of the floor there. So we're going to measure out now how much of the floor we can do. And we're going to do that piece. Yeah. So I now went into Costco's internet site. It's a really nice internet site page where you can easily use a calculator on which product you have from Costco, how much is floating. You, you just punch in your area the average height you're going to fill up and it shows you how much you need so if we go to around here 30 square meters i should have a couple of bags extra so this is what we're going to do now around here we have to cover up because here is a hole down to the room underneath and uh, that we're not going to fill up Jon. yes no we won't that we don't have liquid for <laughs> Then is this ready? Then I have to plug or make a few more holes for the plugs across here because I stopped over there earlier. So we're gonna make two more roads here. Oil, oil, uh, oil on the floor. This we remove with uh, the fire, the flame. That's the best solution. Here is my uh, stop list. I just use foamer now. I'm gonna do like this. That's the stop list. Here I also put on a, a stopper for uh, the liquid because I don't know, I'm not going to float from here and that now because you can see this floor is a little bit uh, wet and it's cold because outside I'm not ready with the uh, outside wall. So this this floor is a little bit cold. So I'm afraid of the result not being perfect if we float it straight up now. So I'm going to wait with this to the summer is here and the floor and everything is dry and have a great... Jon, yes, then I think we go and take some food, lunch. So I'm to get Me too. And then it's going to dry so long. Yeah. yeah. We also put on some foam now into the wall. Uh, this is a special made one for it. I use two layers here because of the coldness from the underneath the door into the floor. I think it's better with two. A little bit thick layer. And this is used there. We use it around here. This is for the floor to have a little bit to move on later on. So it not, should not crack up. So this you actually should have all the way around. But here on the concrete floor, concrete wall, I'm not so sure if you need it, but inside here we use this all the way around because here we got wood constructions in the wall, concrete floor. So here for sure is it important to have it, to have everything, to have a little bit to move on. A good job, Ayon. Good, good. We are now ready for primer. We took away all the extra foam after dried that we also did. So I mean, walk and clean it one more time. Time for primer. And then we use the Costco Vede Ready Fix. It's dry in 10 minutes. That's actually perfect. Also. All 
All right, primer is dry. And now I'm checking the heights here. It should be 5.6. So this piece is a little bit too high. So I'm gonna try to float into that line and I'm gonna sand down this piece of the floor a little bit later on. Same here. Yon is away from the laser now. There we go. This is a little bit too high, a few millimeters, but there is it good. So this we also have to sand down later. So now we're going to float around it. So now is the time for the magic trick. Should be 5.8, a little bit further down. There we go. Now is that one perfect. Now, since I know this one is perfect, I do like this. I put a mark there on my bits all the way around. I take the drill. I put the bits into the drill, bolt down there, earn earn. Perfect. Understood. I'm just drilling down till I'm on my yellow mark. Then I know the height is perfect. And on top of the bolts, I put this really really sticky tape because when we float there now it's going to be so easy to see the marks the reason why we do it like this or i do it like this is because normally you have those pieces you know with the sticky glue underneath and marks this you have to cut off where it should be but the thing is when we're going to start to roll out the liquid later on push the trolley around, or if you kick those with your feet, they break off straight away and then your level is away. Those here, those bolts, you're not gonna kick those off. Those are gonna be perfect all the way till you're done. That's why I do it like this. And dry on. Then is it time to mix some liquid. Not the best weather today, but yeah, yeah. Okay, first one, first one. This liquid is nice. I'm, I'm never floating everything at once. I move it around. This one, it's a really important tool to have now because this one, it's... Uh, yeah, taking away all the air bubbles in the liquid and it helps smooth it out. It's really, really nice to smooth it out with. As you can see, my marks is easy to see. All the points, like this one, perfectly. Inside here now, I used this one, a pan sparkle. And I think that actually made this husnos. Yes, it's done. Now it's gonna dry. Talk so everyone. It's a couple of days after we floated the floor now. And I put tails yesterday. Yesterday I put everyone. But one thing I forgot to say, which is pretty important to say, is that if you have heat cables or stuff in your floor, then you can not drill the holes like I did, you know? Because then you're 100% sure going to hit one of the cables. So that's the negative side. But um, thanks for watching. <coughs> Hope you got something out of it. And please subscribe if you think the video was okay. <coughs> Thank you.